Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M, and I would like to introduce you to John, a bald man who decided to do something about it. And this past weekend, I was actually able to film the transformation process. That video is posted down in the description, and it's over at IamAlphaM.com. But before you go, this video is a little bit of a behind-the-scenes look. <laughs> you know, I'm, up, I'm all up in this guy's business with my video camera, filming the entire process. He comes in with his old hair piece, we remove it, we put the new one on, we get a haircut. I'm telling you, this is one of my most enjoyable videos ever, but there were some things that I wanted to say or that I wanted to tell you guys that I actually didn't put into the video. Um, and so that's what this video is essentially for. I would like to first start off by acknowledging that hair loss is a bitch and it sucks at any age. It sucks. It, there is no way to slice it where it doesn't suck. Um, you know, some guys start losing their hair when they're super young, some a little bit older, but the majority of us at some point in our lives will experience some degree of thinning or hair loss. Now, I've already done a video and there's another link in the description where we talk about things that you can do if you are balding, thinning, losing your hair to love your look. We talk about incorporating facial hair, to help balance everything out, maybe a great pair of glasses, whatever, link below. But the deal is, I feel that it's my duty, my responsibility to talk about the other options that are out there as far as hair loss is concerned. And so, when I got a call from Steven a few weeks ago, my hairstylist, saying, yo, can you make it by my salon in the next 30 minutes? I'm like, yeah, why? He's like, trust me, there's somebody that you need to meet. I get there and Steven introduces me to Curtis Jones. Curtis happens to own a non-surgical hair repair placement center. So Curtis and I are talking. I'm like, Curtis, man, why don't you let me come in and film a video, interview you, talk about non-surgical hair replacement options and all that. It's going to be great. People love it. And he goes, you know, what if I could actually convince somebody to let you film the process of removing their old piece and putting their new system on? I said, Curtis, let's go with your idea. I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in hell that Curtis was going to be able to actually talk somebody into letting me not only film it, but putting it out there for the world to see. But Curtis pulled through and he actually found us a client. Now in the video, you're going to see where I meet John for the first time. And honest to God, that was the first time I laid eyes on him. And it had been eight weeks since John had had his hair system replaced. And when he walked in the room, honestly, I could tell. I'm like, all right, you know, I didn't know what I was expecting because apparently Curtis is saying that the new stuff we're doing is super cutting edge and, and you can't tell. And I'm like, yeah, right. I am of the mindset that I can tell if somebody's wearing a hairpiece, a wig, a rug, a toupee. But what I came to realize after actually filming this video is that the good ones, you absolutely cannot tell. It's the bad ones that absolutely, you can see from a thousand feet, you're like, yo, there's a rug, three o'clock. Not anymore necessarily. Now the old toupees, the horrible ones that, I, I mean, I'll see a guy, like just this morning, I'm at the gym, I'm on the Stairmaster dying, right? I look over, there's a guy, 75 years old who's got a hair a hair ahead a head of hair darker thicker more luscious than mine well, actually it wasn't l luscious it looked like a dead animal and i'm like oh my god seriously i almost went up to him and was like yo you got to go see curtis at Genta studios baby because he's doing some amazing things and it actually looks natural and that was the biggest takeaway from this that you're not going to believe when we actually put the new system on this guy i get my camera so close you can't see anything it looks totally natural because what they actually do is they take this very 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 thin membrane okay it's almost like a contact lens for your eye that they put on your head and then they inject real hair into it and so you can it looks like hair just coming out of it it is absolutely one of the coolest experiences that I've had while doing these videos for you guys these hair systems are replaceable, and you've got to replace them every six to eight weeks. Uh, the cost over the span of a year is going to run you around $3,000. That includes around four to five hair pieces or systems. It's also going to include the monthly or every six week appointment that you need to make to have it serviced. Yeah, you got to get them serviced, but think about it. It's like you're going to the salon every six to eight weeks because you're not going and getting your hair cut any other place. When you go to get it serviced, they remove it the old piece they uh, clean your head they give you a fresh haircut they put it back on with the surgical adhesive and uh, they style it up and you're good to go and here's the deal you cannot <laughs> like when I say you can't see it like you can't see 
anything. It is absolutely unbelievable. You live in this thing. You swim in it. You shower. You're getting freaky. Your girl's running your throat. Yeah, in the old system, people are like, go, Jack, stay off the hair, right? Now, you can let them just fondle that crap because it ain't coming off. Did I just mess mine up? <laughs> Gentlemen, here's the deal. Down in the description, there's a link to the video that I went and shot at Curtis's studio. We meet John, we go through the entire process from start to finish, and I'm telling you, it is an eye-opening experience and quite frankly, something pretty cool to see. And make no mistake, I am not endorsing this as the go-to option if you are losing your hair or are bald. This is simply an option that I wanted to explore because I know that there are guys out there that are interested. And so I thought this would be a great way to showcase what else is out there. The top of the line creme de la creme of non-surgical hair replacement options. Gentlemen, there's a link down in the description to come check it out.